Hello, hello, and welcome to the final lecture of GrassAllergies.com. My name is Dr. Jason Lee. In this lecture, we're going to be talking about allergen immunotherapy. In the very first lecture, we learned that an allergy occurs when your body mistakenly identifies something that is not harmful to you as something that is harmful. Your body basically thinks the grass pollen is an infection that it needs to clear and get rid of from your body. In trying to do this, it causes a lot of symptoms of allergies, which, of course, as you know, is not helpful to you. Over time, this can even result in structural changes to your body, which, again, is detrimental to the functioning. How do we re-educate or retrain the immune system? Well, many people have looked at various ways. About 100 years ago, something called subcutaneous immunotherapy was devised. What this involves is injecting a patient with whatever they're allergic to in controlled increased amounts over time to induce and re-educate the immune system to no longer react. As we know, the symptoms of allergies can be quite severe and affect the quality of life. So, the question is, do allergy shots or subcutaneous immunotherapy work? The answer to that is a definite and resounding yes. Many, many multiple studies have been done to show that it is both safe and effective. It's not without side effects, however, and the main limitation of allergy shots are, one, inconvenience of administration. This involves going to your doctor, typically on a weekly basis for a period of time, and two, but the potential for severe anaphylaxis. Anaphylaxis is a severe allergic reaction. By injecting something that you're allergic to in your body, it is possible to have an anaphylactic reaction. The range that this occurs is about 1 in 1,000 to 1 in 10,000. There is even a small chance of death of 1 in 2.5 million. Your doctor will ask you to wait in the office, typically for a minimum of 30 minutes, in case you have an anaphylactic reaction. Most of the anaphylaxis reactions happens within that 30 minute window. Most patients, however, will just get a little bit of swelling where they get the injection. So, is it effective? Absolutely. Is it safe? For the vast majority of patients, yes. Now some patients don't get all that much benefit from the allergy shots, and it's best to speak to your doctor about this. The cool new thing that's come out recently is sublingual immunotherapy. Again, this is just a fancy way of saying allergy tablets under the tongue. By using a quantifiable controlled dose of grass pollen and making it into a pill or tablet form, we can know exactly what to expect in terms of side effects and safety. How this works is very similar to how allergy injections work. We are essentially inducing a change in the way that your body behaves to the allergen by introducing, or I, I should say, retraining the body's response. A tablet containing grass pollen is melted under your tongue and introduced into your body. This is generally done starting at a minimum of eight weeks before your local grass season. So for those of us in the Northeast US or Canada, this usually means starting grass tablets sometime in March. The process is done every single day till the end of grass season. Again, this depends on your local area, but for the Northeast US and Canada, it is usually end of July. So in both subcutaneous and sublingual immunotherapy, studies have shown that this really does in fact retrain the immune system. We learned previously that the T cell is the mastermind or brains behind the immune system. This T cell, which is a part of the adaptive immune system, gets retrained and we are actually able to measure how it starts to communicate differently with the other defenders of the immune system. It is clear by looking at the messages that it sends to the other cells that, hey, this is not a parasite, let's stop reacting as if it were. This induces your other cells, such as your mast cells, your B cells, 
and all the other cells that we talked about to not react as if it were a parasite. This results in long-term changes to your immune system and we have effectively re-educated the immune system. Not only do your symptoms get reduced, including in the first season that you're exposed, your body has now learned a whole new set of information and will no longer react to grass pollen as if it were a parasite in the long term. Studies have shown in sublingual immunotherapy that doing the grass tablets for three consecutive years can induce changes in years four and five, even though you are no longer doing the tablet immunotherapy in years four and five. Put it another way, you do this for a certain amount of time, it may induce lifelong changes, hopefully. I am very much looking forward to long-term studies on this, but I do feel that this is the direction that we're heading in the future. Thank you very much for listening to me, and I hope you learned everything you need to know about grass allergies.